Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching Vector Art. So in today's video, we'll take a look on how to create this beautiful looking animation using storyboards in WPF. So without any further ado, let's get started. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. So let's start by opening Visual Studio Blend and clicking on create a new project. Let's select WPF application and click on next. Uh, give this project a name and click on create. Let's wait for the window to load. And here we have our window. So let's run this application once just to see uh, how big the window is. Uh, OK, so let's stop this window uh, application running and let's go to the uh, XAML and change the height and width of this window. OK, now uh, let's change the title and let's start first by adding the elements like first we'll take the uh, pen tool. And uh, start drawing the uh, shape that we desire. So now I will use the direct selection tool to adjust the anchor points. A little adjustments here and there and we are ready. So let's go back to the selection tool and uh, go to the properties and change the fill and stroke. Now let's add an ellipse on top of this uh, path. I have speed up this process so that we are not uh, going to concentrate much on this design part, but actually concentrate on the storyboard creation and animation. So this is all basic uh, designing. Uh, now um, I have uh, uh, added a text block after uh, filling the ellipse with an image. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, designing, you can check out my previous videos where I have talked about this in detail. So moving ahead, uh, let me change some of these text properties like uh, height and uh, width and bold uh, properties. I will copy this by holding on to the Alt key and dragging it. Now let me change, do the same changes here and let's add a couple of UI elements. This is just uh, a wireframe design and nothing more. I'll change the stroke and let's add an ellipse and add bullet points on top of it. So you can copy it by holding on to the Alt key and dragging it. Just a neat feature. Let me add some text blocks. Change the font properties. Copying it by dragging and holding the Alt key. And that's it for uh, the UI elements that we add. Now moving on uh, to the uh, animation part. So let's start designing that part. So let's add an ellipse on top of the window. Position it. Uh, very near to the right hand edge, change the fill and the stroke of this uh, rectangle, sorry, uh, the ellipse. Now let's add a button on top of it. And I want this button to be an ellipse. So uh, what we can do is right click, edit template, edit a copy, click OK. And then you can see the border element. So here we can add a corner radius of the same size as the width and height of the uh, button. So you will get a circle. And now let's go back to the uh, window and position this. Before that, let's uh, change the remove the border brush foreground and change the background color to a slight lighter color than the one that is behind it. And now let's position it at the center of that bigger ellipse. Next, uh, what we will do is we'll start adding strokes. You can also use the line tool, but I have used the pen tool here. Um, 
and um, I will speed up the process and add several lines like this. So next, let's uh, change the stroke width as, or stroke thickness and um, stroke color of all these uh, strokes or paths that we have added on the circle. So I have changed it on one of them and then just copying the XAML and uh, or the properties and pasting it on the other. Once we have that ready, we will move on uh, and uh, start adding the uh, buttons that we want when this uh, ellipse enlarges. So let's start by adding this button and changing the background to a uh, image and removing the content. So next we will copy this button that we have created and copy it several times on uh, different sections of this uh, uh, pie that we have created. And if you're wondering where to get these icons, you can go ahead uh, to icons8.com. I have left a link in the description. You can check it out. Also, the code for this uh, design is in the description. You can download it from GitHub. So next, let's uh, add one more button, which will serve as the close button for the animation. So we have two buttons just placed on top of each other. One is the plus and the other one is the close. So let's go back to the first button and uh, remove, change the content to plus. And uh, next, uh, let's uh, right click and uh, instead of adding the content, let's uh, right click and go to the current uh, template. And here, uh, let's remove the content presenter. Let's delete this and uh, add a text block instead. So with that text block, I can uh, freely move it as I please. So let's me change the text of the text block to plus and decrease the size. Position it on the center. And uh, once that is done, let's go back to the window. So we have our button with this uh, plus uh, content. Uh, and uh, next, it's time to set up the stage for the starting animation. So to start the animation, I want uh, all of these elements to be first hidden and the button to be visible and the ellipse to be uh, the ellipse to be smaller than the button. So like uh, this will be a starting point for the animation. So when you the window is launched, it will look like this. So now uh, all we have to do is add a storyboard. And on the first keyframe, we will uh, enlarge the ellipse and um, all the uh, other elements and the buttons on top of that ellipse should be captured here. And on the first keyframe or the 0.5 keyframe, we will enlarge the ellipse and change the uh, visibility of all the uh, paths and buttons to visible. And the first button that we had, uh, the plus button that we have to hide. So on the zeroth keyframe, I have just recorded what was the original state and on the 0.5 keyframe, I have uh, recorded what should be the uh, next stage. So uh, you can see that uh, since I had copied the button, uh, the uh, button style of the first button is copied to the second one. And that's the reason uh, I can see that uh, the animation is not right. So I will create a new uh, template for the second button that is the close button and change the radius to of uh, 50 for the border and uh, I think that should solve the issue now go by going back to the window I will stop the animation and see it in action first 
okay that works now uh, i can see that my ellipse is a bit smaller uh, so i will start the recording again and uh, uh, select the ellipse and increase the size on the first keyframe sorry the 0.5 keyframe and uh, now it looks better so next what we have to do is uh, we will need to add a trigger so most of you must be wondering that the trigger panel is missing in the uh, newest uh, version of blend uh, i am constantly looking for a solution but right now i will do it from the code uh, the xaml so i have added a window dot trigger element and inside that i will add a event trigger So let's add an event trigger and a routed event and this should be the button base dot click and uh, the source for this event trigger should be our button uh, the first button uh, the one with the plus icon or content and let's close this and inside this let's uh, begin the storyboard and let's uh, point that storyboard to a static resource and that static resource uh, should be uh, pointing to the storyboard that we created that is the storyboard one and now if you run the application you will see this nice looking animation when we click on the plus button so now uh, the next part is when you click back on the close button which is uh, visible now and the plus button which was hidden uh, it should uh, shrink back to the original state so we'll add one more storyboard and here on the first uh, keyframe or the zeroth keyframe i will start it with the um, frame where the first storyboard ended so this is where how the first uh, storyboard's uh, last keyframe looked like so all these uh, paths and buttons were visible on the last keyframe of the first storyboard and the ellipse was also visible but uh, the first button was hidden now on the uh, last keyframe of the second storyboard i will shrink the first ellipse i will make the button visible the first button and uh, all these i will hide so this is the uh, starting position starting keyframe of our first storyboard so and that should be the last uh, keyframe of our uh, storyboard 2 as well so uh, i can see that our um, elements on inside that uh, ellipse are um, visible even after uh, the sh uh, ellipse shrinks so i am just moving it uh, to the point 1 keyframe so that it does it hides before the ellipse collapses so all that is done now let's close the storyboard and go back to the triggers and add the last trigger uh, which will uh, trigger the closing of the ellipse so let's take the button name first which is the button close and add our event trigger so hope you all liked watching this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel that means a lot enjoy this video Till then, bye-bye.